Okay, here's the final review of the 2012 uh, Street Glide CVO stereo upgrade. Um, went with the obvious choice was the Metra interfering with the Sony 7000. I had Ohio gauges change the LEDs. I put uh, ground zeros, uh, six and a half inch coaxial uh, ground zero yellow baskets in the upper and six and a half ground zeros in the lower. And then in the lids, I decided to go with diamonds. They don't punch down as low, um, but they do give a very, a very clear um, and tight high end. Plus they're the Neo magnets. So they, um, they, with these older bags, there's no issue with the lids opening and closing with the magnets hitting the side of the bag. So, plus it's a lot easier to handle. I'm doing this one-handed here and I can handle the lids um, very easily. So the amplifier I went with that's tucked behind the front fairing is the um, Sound Digital 2400 watt. And then um, you do have to change from the, the Daymaker headlight to an aftermarket Chinese one. And I'll provide the link to that in the, um, in the description. But although you can't really judge the quality of the sound or, the, or the, how loud it is from a cell phone, people ask all the time anyways. So I'll go ahead and turn this up here. deafening as you can imagine So pretty glad we went with the uh, the diamond MPs uh, with the screws painted. The screws painted. You can't even see them inside there. So this just looks all stock. You can't even see the diamond name along this side. But uh, when I open this up, I'm trying to do this one-handed here. Oh, there we go. You can see the magnet hardly interferes. So I'm going to need to put like a spacer right here under that screw. Remove the screw put like a post and then another screw right across the top here and it will look, it'll look perfect. <laughs> 